everyone today let's know about one of the most least talked about character in the hindu mythology shri kak bhushundi let's start the video but before that i request you to show your love by subscribing to the channel and liking this video so that i can bring more exciting ones like this kak bhushundi is a name of a sage who is a character being referred to in epic ramayana and ramcharitmanas which are a hindu religious scriptures composed by shri valmiki ji and shri tulsidas ji respectively as the name reveals kak means crow that is kak bhushundi had a crow like human appearance kak bhushundi is a sage mentioned in hindu scripture ramayana he has a face of a crow and the body of a human being He acquired this form due to a curse given by sage Lomas. He is believed to have a gift of taking many births and Lord Rama has blessed him with a divine vision which helps him to see events that have already occurred and that would occur in the future. He is believed to live until the very end of this millennium, Kali Yuga. Hence is blessed to be called Chiranjeevi. He is also believed to have seen Ramayana played 11 times. According to recorded texts Ramayana and Ramcharitmanas Kak Bhushundi is believed to be very devout towards Lord Rama he is so devout that in every kalpa that is age whenever Lord Rama will incarnate on earth Kak Bhushundi would move to Ayodhya to witness the divine child's play of Lord Rama incarnation of again Lord Vishnu In this manner it is believed that he has already witnessed Ramayana 11 times and Mahabharata 16 times some scholars are also of a view point that he has witnessed both these epic events with different outcomes Ramayana is studied as three set of dialogues between Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati Sage Bharadwaj and Sage Yagnavalkya and between Kak Bhushundi and Garuda who is a king of birds who is known as a vehicle of Lord Vishnu once Garuda and Kak Bhushundi were having a conversation when Garuda said that it feels good to sit and talk with him as he is constantly immersed in devotion to almighty and he is blessed to have a very long life upon asking about his crow like appearance Garud questioned Kak Bhushundi how did he become like this Upon listening to these words Kak Bhushundi said that if you have time to listen then I can answer this query as my story is pretty lengthy Garuda said he is willing to know and that is ready to listen for however long it might take he said he had taken many human births and wasted all of them as he never got a chance to take the refuge of an enlightened saint and follow true worship Once when he was in human form he had a loving family of two siblings a younger brother and a younger sister along with his parents a severe drought hit that place and it didn't rain for many years people had nothing left to eat as they had eaten all the trees plants and shrubs situation became so worse that to satiate hunger humans started consuming other humans During this entire time he saw his whole family starving to death as younger siblings and old parents were incapable of bearing hunger for a long time since he was in his youth around 20 years age he could bear the hunger hence moved to another place called Avantika to save his life this place Avantika didn't have a draft he had some food and was therefore saved However, he was feeling miserable as he had to witness his loved ones die due to hunger. Once, during his thought process of what is the meaning of life, he saw a Shiva temple where a priest was delivering a spiritual sermon. He went there and sat down and later when the community meal was organized and got over and all the attendees went away but he kept sitting there. When the priest saw him sitting he questioned him as to who he was Kak Bhushundi narrated his whole story and began to cry The priest consoled him like his son and offered him to stay in the temple premises and serve devotees wholeheartedly He began to attend the spiritual discourse daily It was told in discourse that human birth is highly precious and is obtained to do true devotion and attain emancipation He had endured so much pain still he never felt the need to take the refuge of a saint. He had 6 months went by like this. 
Kak Bushundi said that he was so ill-fated that even after wasting many human lives and enduring pain of losing loved ones in this life too, it took him six months to realize the importance of true devotion and he took initiation from the priest. Whenever the priest used to visit some place, Kak Bushundi used to deliver the spiritual sermon. Since he was young, he had a better voice and due to this all the devotees started praising him and admired his way of delivering the spiritual sermon. All these events inflated his ego. He became arrogant. One day, while he was delivering the spiritual sermon, his guru, the priest, arrived in the temple to worship. Everyone present there stood up and bowed to the priest but Kak Bhujundi out of ego didn't stand up and simply looked at his guru while being seated thinking that if he bows to his guru then he will become inferior to him since many disciples who used to glorify him were seated. Although Guruji did not give a heel but since he was a great worshipper of Lord Shiva he got angry and made an ether announcement that since he failed to pay respect to his guru he will land up suffering in hell for 1 lakh years Lord Shiva told the priest through ether voice that out of egoistic behavior he didn't respect his guru when Lord Shiva got convinced with the pleading of the priest he mentioned that I cannot take my words back but can lighten its effect He will have to live in the hell for 1 lakh years. However, the demons in hell will not torture him. After a few years, Kak Bushundi passed away. He had to go to hell although he lived there without being tortured by the grace of Lord Shiva. After enduring hell, he again got a human life. By the time the seed of devotion was sown in him, he used to do spiritual discussions on the existence of God and questions how to attain God. Once he went to listen to satsang at one place. At that time, Sage Lomas was delivering a spiritual sermon on Sargun God. Kak Bhushundi started an argument with him with regard to the appearance of God. Sage Lomas explained it to him in many alternate ways, but Kak Bhushundi refuted all the explanation given by the sage and insulted him. Annoyed by this, Sage Lomas cursed Kak Bhushundi that you will take birth in the house of a chandal, that is crow. Kak Bhushundi immediately realized his mistake and requested the sage to bless him so that whenever he takes birth he should always remember God and should remain in the refuge of the supreme almighty. Then in the next life he was born from the union of a female swan vehicle of goddess Saraswati wife of Lord Brahma and Kak Chand the deity. Hence his body is like God's but face looks like a crow. but he can talk like humans this was the life in which kak bushundi got a chance to follow a true way of worship well that's it for today i hope you're liking nerdy's discoveries can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about see you on the next bye